Staycations have become most popular alternative to vacation traveling. To relax and unwind yourself from the everyday hustle and bustle, at times you need a relaxing atmosphere. And when this getaway is with friends you value the most, what more you can ask for? Today's video is about a staycation with our dear ones at the Ritad Salva Resort in Qatar. Thought of taking you along in this memorable staycation that we had recently? So let's get started! We are going towards our room in the buggy car. number of beautiful villas here this is the one for us we will be staying for the night let's go inside and check out how is it the calling bell Then see there's a private pool here. That's one of the bedrooms. Let's see the view from the balcony here. Yes, that's a small balcony they have here. That's our villa pool. We'll be spending most of the time there, I guess. And see outside there, they have a lazy river. You can just sit back and relax there. Hello! That's the second bedroom. Look at the wardrobes, so many of them. The second bed here. This room has a balcony as well. In fact, all the three rooms have their own private balconies. This is quite a big one, as it is for both the rooms here. Mm. 
Now we'll have a look at the kitchen. Wow, look at this kitchen. This villa has a full fledged kitchen. You have all the amenities from the guest store. You have this oven as well. Then Let's here are see. the cutleries. Let's see. Any surprises inside the fridge? Brainstorming session going on for the <laughs> lunch menu. Lunch time! This is the view of our villa from the corner of the backyard. We see a door as well. Let's see what's behind this door. Wow, that's nice. And there is a sort of lazy river flowing here. And there's a small cute wooden bridge. Let's look into the view from this wooden bridge. The building we see is the main building of this resort. Let's take a stroll to see what's what's there that side of uh, the resort close to the main building What's hello, cooking? Hello. I'm trying something. I'm not sure if you will like, but yeah, just let me see. Chicken, chicken barbecue? Yeah, chicken tawa fry maybe. Tawa fry, wow. Tawa fry. Nice. Oh, the baker here. Our baker is busy in chopping onions today. We have a photographer I'm, I'm capturing, capturing us all the time. Hibjuda. <laughs> Bo, Hi. what's up? I'm busy arranging the things. Very nice. So let's go and check out outside. Hi, Auntie. Mobile. Badia. 
let's see what's going on here. Oh, the barbecue man. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Setting up the things for some delicious barbecue. The fire is lit. Khatti dal, chicken, dry fry, chicken, chicken pan fry, chicken chicken pan pan fry. fry. <laughs> another Ma dal there, Mess potato. then mashed potato and egg, salad and rice. Taking a night stroll. We're going towards the pool now, the main pool of the resort. Not to swim though. Yeah, obviously. Not to swim. <laughs> Just to have a look. A bit late, going for a walk now. areas for recreational activities you see here a volleyball court and then on the other side there is a handball court it's good for a walk also this is a walking area you can do cycling there's the gang Tamara breakfast table. The restaurant name is Tamara. It's Tamra. Tamra, yeah. Tamra. So we are now heading towards the restaurant. Let's see what's there for us. almost ready and served. They don't have a buffet option here but it's like set menu. There are, there are two options. One is continental breakfast and the other is Ritter special. So we have all ordered for the Ritter as one. Well. Let's see how it goes.
right after the main building, you'll get to see the main swimming pool of the resort. There are in fact two swimming pools. I'll show you. The first one is for kids and the other one is for adults. It's actually quite a huge one. after breakfast <laughs> mm, it has a strong, strong taste without sugar though but I think it's the taste which you build after sipping it for a few sips actually actually this resort is a bit far from the main city it's around 40 kilometers from the center of the Doha and we don't see much of uh, tourists from outside Qatar uh, it's uh, mostly the residents or the citizens of Qatar is who come here for weekend gateway or little longer stay getting ready for leaving this place feeling very sad as we had a very lovely stay over here I'd like to say here that this property of the Rita Salva resort is quite spacious you have ample opportunities for a leisurely stay here uh, the facilities are quite good for us we actually booked a normal deluxe room you have in the hotels but since we were three families, they gave us an upgrade and we got to stay in this three bedroom villa having a private pool. The property is quite decent here and uh, although like there are scopes of improvement, they can make this place a bit more uh, well maintained and because since they have a vast area, so there are scope of doing a lot. But overall it was a nice day, we enjoyed to our fullest and uh, had all the basic things we required for the stay in the villa itself so we would highly recommend this place so when you are in Doha, Qatar you can definitely make this a choice of stay for yourself so until we meet next bye take care <laughs>